Joe Cox here for Glycott today, previewing the Lafayette Generals, where new head coach John Lawson hopes to turn the team around after a 2-9 and nine season last year. Coach Lawson has a quarterback battle, but some strong defenders in 2022. A fall quarterback battle is a certainty for the Generals. As Hayden Dahl here, who was injured early in the 21 campaign, transferred to Lexington Catholic, and his backup, DJ Walker, has also moved along. Coach John Lawson has several athletes who are encouraging possibilities, but he's not yet set on a starter at the position. Dez Hanley was the Generals' leading rusher last season. Junior should get more ball-carrying opportunities heading into this season. Expected to return in both a receiving and defensive backfield role is Trey Wilson. The senior totaled 71 yards and catches while scooping up a pair of fumbles on the other side of the ball. Bigger opportunities may be in the works for several Generals following a slew of graduations elsewhere on defense. Two of the returnees, junior Cale Green and senior Tony Howard, each recorded at least a sack last year. After two decades as an assistant at Lafayette, John Lawson moves up to become their new head coach. The former UK nose guard, the Missouri-born Lawson, has the task of rebuilding the Generals football program to heights not seen since 2016. Four A runners up Johnson Central pay Lafayette a visit on opening week. A couple of weeks after, the Generals go cross town to play 5A runners up Frederick Douglass. Lafayette's rivalry game with Henry Clay begins 6A District 7 play on October 7th. And that's the outlook for the Lafayette Generals. Stay tuned here on Glycott where tomorrow we will have a preview of the East Jessamine Jaguars with Greg Horn. Thanks for watching. Counting you down to kickoff here on Glycott.